So I'm not uh, I'm not done with the handout yet, but uh, but I'll, I'll have it done soon, and I'll I'll post it for you guys, and I'll have handouts with us out there. So I want to talk uh, briefly about um, next week. So as a reminder, we're not meeting, we're not physically meeting in the classroom next week. Both of our Mondays, our Monday session, our Wednesday session are both field activities. So I wanted to just go over this. Um, and if, again, if you haven't told me if you're coming with us in the in the departmental van. Uh, uh, yet, if you haven't clicked on that Slack link, please do that right now so I, I get an idea uh, how much space, if, make sure we have enough space for everybody. Um, okay, so I want to uh, first talk about Monday because that's, that's the next thing coming up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, an activity I originally developed for this class and then last couple years I've mostly done it as part of our Central Coast, our multi-day field trip up the Central Coast for another course I teach. Um, so I need, to, I need to update this a little bit to have, make, it, make it specifically talk about the site we're going to, but the big picture is all the same. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at exploitation, right? We're going to be looking at exploitation, potentially over-exploitation, okay? So um, uh, how, do we, how do we do that, right? The, most, the com most common thing we've talked about are passenger pigeons, yeah? Uh, uh, a buffalo. We used to have a bunch of them. Now they're going away, right? In your in your species assessment, you guys are looking at how many how many individuals there used to be in the day. How many now? Clearly, the 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 individuals is one measure. And as we go from a lot of individuals to a little bit of a fewer a lower number of individuals, hey, okay, so that that's something's going on, right? But there are other so the, and that's one thing we'll look at. We're going to go count a species that might be being exploited. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'll just tell you, it is being exploited. But we'll, we'll, we'll see how heavily it's being exploited, right? So that's one measure. Another key measure is um, how many, uh, how, how big they get, right? Redwood trees can live for, uh, who's doing our redwood post, right? They can live for thousands of years, right? They get honking, honking big, right? One of the tallest organisms on the planet, if not the tallest organism on the planet, right? Well, they only get that big if they're allowed to grow for thousands of years, right? If we only let them grow for 50 years, they ain't gonna be, they ain't gonna be, you know, 100 meters tall, right? So another metric we can use to look at exploitation is not just density, we can look at demography. So if we're, if we're taking all the, all the individuals, right, their average age is gonna get younger, right? That we have babies, and we have adolescents, and we maybe have some young adults, but we don't have a lot of honking old individuals or express in terms of things that grow throughout their lives. We won't have a lot of big, big individuals. We'll have smaller individuals. Is it kind of like the fishing concept how before there was like a lot bigger fish? Yes, fish like exactly, smaller. exactly. I mean, there we're also talking about the species we switch to, but yes, majority's right. So, so absolutely. So we can see the signal of over-exploitation in, in gross numbers of of individuals that make up a population or in the demography of individuals and or both, right? So we're gonna look at that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some transects in the rocky intertidal. So we're gonna go to the beach. So you guys should have um, shoes and get wet. So old sneakers are great, dive boots, something, but no totally bare feet. So when every, every year we do this, somebody's like, oh, dude, I'm a surf from man, it's cool, it's all good, brah. It's all good. No, I live at the beach, bra. And then they step on a rock and cut their foot, right? So, so you need some kind of foot protection. So tevas are great. Something that something that uh, was not a flip flop that will just pop off in a wave. But, but we're not going to be like wading up to our chest in water. But it's going to be rocky, slippery. So again, the best things would be dive booties, surf booties, or an old pair of sneakers. A pair of sneakers you can get wet. Crocs. Crocs, if as, as long as they have the strap strap on the back, so your croc doesn't pop off your foot. Sure. Sure. Okay. Cool. Like so, shoes. what's that? Like shoes, just like the ones that go perfectly around your foot, like. Yeah. Yeah. So just, just something so that, because again, we're, we're you know we might be walking over some slippery rocks. That, that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to. I don't want anybody to twist their ankle. No, no reason for the little lab to get hurt. Right. That kind of thing. Okay. So we're gonna be walking around and we're going to be targeting one particular species, which is this guy, an owl limpet. So a little snail, a little mollusk, that's flat. Um, and we're gonna go to this area on Leo Carrillo that is, um, uh, you know, hopefully this is gonna be great. If there's some massive storm that blows in on Sunday, 
Maybe we'll just go to the beach and look at the beach. <laughs> but so if, if it's crazy surf or something, we won't go in the water. But, but we'll get, you know, ankle deep water, right? Maybe like, maybe knees at the most, right? But we're not going to go swimming or anything like that. Um, okay, so we're going to go and we're essentially going to count these individuals. So um, uh, you guys should be ready. So, so we're not going to get you submerged, but, right, don't, don't wear your valuable Rolex watch to the beach, right? You, you know what I'm saying? Because we're going to be outside, there's going to be sand, there's going to be seawater, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, so it's going to be great. So we'll explain it all we're there, but here's the challenge. The challenge is the tides are really bad for our class this year. So this is the best, this is going to be one of the best days we have. So here's the story. So this is next Monday, right? So we want the water to be as low as possible. That's as easy for us, as safe as possible. Class starts at right around about about a plus 0.4 foot um, tide. So it would be way better if we could start a little bit earlier. So I'm going to ask you guys, and, and this is a, this is about a 25 minute, the site is about a 25 minute drive towards LA from campus, right? So can we all get there by 8.30? We're going to Leo Carrillo State Beach. Is that, is that, is that feasible for you guys? What day is this? This is next Monday. Okay, so if that's gonna work for everybody, please be there at 8.30. Okay, I'll show you where and everything, but, but so be there at 8.30. So that'll allow us to start, we start at nine, because it takes some training and some startup, right? It will we'll be more decent, right? I like it to be below a plus one foot. Um, okay, and then we'll get there done, and we'll, we'll get it done as soon as we can, and, uh, and we're gonna focus on getting the data, and then afterwards, we'll come up and discuss stuff. So I like to normally like lecture you guys, get stuff set up, but because we're time constrained, like let's get there like super soon and get this done, and then we can sort of digest and everything after. Does that make sense? Uh, for the van, uh, what time will we be on campus? Right. So so if you guys are coming with the van, um, we'll leave at eight then. If we're going to start at eight thirty there, so we'll, we'll we'll physically pull away at eight. So you guys should be here like seven fifty or something, just to make sure we can load. And we'll load up just like we loaded up before, just down here on the corner of Sierra. Okay. Great, so that, that's next week. And, and I just wanna show you guys where, I'll, I'll post this online too, but I just so you guys know. So this is, if you, if you drove from campus, this is the fastest way. If you guys are coming from LA or somewhere else, there's, there can be some faster ways. But for us, we're just gonna drive out, go down um, straight to PCH, and just go down PCH, and that's it. Okay, and so, yeah. If we're driving separately, do we not need to go back to campus? That's correct, yeah, yeah so, you, so if you're not coming with us in the van, you do not need to go to campus first. And you guys, can just, you guys just go direct. Okay, so here we come down PCH. If you're coming from school, you're going uh, south or east on, on PCH, right? You're going towards LA. And um, now you have an option. If you wish, you're more than welcome to park in the actual regular parking lot, which you'd, you'd come past the main beach, this is where we're gonna meet. We're gonna meet right here, or this is where we're gonna be doing our data collection, excuse me, right here. But if you want to, you're welcome to come in here, pull in and pay, they'll, they'll charge you, I don't know how much the parking fee is there, but, but state park parking, you're welcome to do that. Or you can just park right here for free on the side of PCH. Okay? <laughs> we will be parking on the side of PCH, the van will be parking, but let me just explain something. Be very, 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 very careful on PCH, right? Um, one, I don't want you guys getting a ticket, and they're, they're full of speed, a lot of that part of PCH is full of speed traps. Notoriously, it'll drop down to like 50 or 45, and then like cops just hang out there, so don't get a speeding ticket, right? Leave plenty early so nobody's rushing, okay? Um, and then, and then when you, when you do park, pull off as far to the side as you can, right? And then check your door. If you're gonna open your door, right, don't get whacked and walk very, very, you know, once you get past the cars, walk, you know, right up against the, um, the right side, the, the away from cars, right? So it's gonna be morning time. All the Hollywood execs that live in Malibu are gonna be sipping their coffee and they're gonna be like talking, buy, buy, sell, buy, and they're not gonna be looking for you, right? So you need to make sure that you do not, and everybody that if you're driving with someone, everybody's safe, right? Everybody's safe, everybody's safe. I'd rather you be five minutes late to this than somebody get an accident or get a ticket. Cool? 
Don't get a ticket. Don't be silly. Don't be unsafe. Okay, this is where we're going to meet. So once you park right around here, right? Um, so you can park anywhere around here. And again, because it's early morning, it's probably there's probably be tons of parking, right? If this was middle of, if this is Fourth of July, mid middle of the day, the parking is going to there's going to be cars for miles parked here. But for us, that should be totally chill. Just check. There are a few spots that say no parking for like emergency vehicles. Just don't park in a between a sign that says no parking past this point. Okay, then you're just gonna walk down, okay, walk down, and there's a little gate right here, a little yellow gate. We'll just meet right here. That's where we'll meet at 8.30, cool? And then we'll, as a group, we'll walk down to the, to the, to the water, okay? So here at 8.30 on Monday. 